here we are in the Utazu Kawazoe, Kawazakura. I forget the name of this sakura, but it's a really early bird sakura. You can see it's beautiful, nice and pink. We also got the gold tower behind me. Look at that, beautiful. The weather is really nice, and from now on it's gonna rain, so it's gonna be pretty bad for shooting sakura. So I took the opportunity right now that I had a chance to shoot the sakura while it's still blue sky. To give you a little backstory of what I'm shooting with this is the Canon EOS M at 4.8K, uh, 11 bits. Yeah, so it's not 10 bits, it's not quite 14 bits, but it's more than enough to get some amazing colors. And also 4.8K is low down key, the same field of view of 1080p, but we just get the good, the sharpness of the 4K. We avoid the aliasin that 1080p suffers from. So shooting at a one by three pixel binding helps a lot to remove some of the some of the artifacts that you have on the edges. So we get pretty clean edges with this mode. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. We have wide as well as sharpness. So it allows me to shoot up close with the 16mm f1.4 and get some nice separation. And also I shot with the pancake grains, the 22mm f2. And that gave me some really close up shots of the flower and it just, turn out pretty good and you know the great thing about the EOS M is that we got raw goodness so I could bring back a lot of the clip highlights we got great colors overall dynamic range is just rich that's that's one word I could just describe maybe I need two words okay so let's say organically rich that's how I would describe the colors of the EOS M I guess that's why I have so much fun shooting with the Canon EOS M now I do have the Fujifilm right here with me that does shooting 4k and uh, I only, I mainly use that for stills, shooting with classic chrome, but the colors is a plus four. Uh, everything else like minus two, I believe, minus, minus two highlights, minus one shadow, color is plus four, and sharpness is a minus two, I believe. Can't remember my recipe that I use for this classic chrome, but for Sakura, we definitely have to push up the colors to get a nice and poppy. Oh yeah, and if you happen to be shooting Sakura, um, don't get too close because you'll be covering pollen like I am right now Completely covering in pollen. My even my lens got some pollen on it I didn't even know that was possible. That was the thing, but just guys be careful with the pollen It's really sticky easy to stick to I guess that's why the birds love it so much. They love eating the pollen here, but anyway uh, That's it for me now. I better go finish shooting a little bit more and hope you guys like the video. If you did like the video, uh, subscribe for more content like this. I'm gonna be pushing out more EOS and videos, more how-tos and reviews. So hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.